So how do we figure out how far to go down with the suction catheter in order to not go past the end of the ET tube and cause damage to the trachea and the carina? The easiest way to do that is to figure out what number the end of this Y piece is at inside the ET tube. So if you look at your ET tube, you'll see in this particular case, we see 16, 17, and then nothing beyond that. So we need to figure out what number this could be. So either get your tape measure out, um, and in this case, I'm gonna take a best guess that it's a little bit beyond the 18. So let's call it 18. And so then this piece right here, this Y piece, up until your suction observation port or um, area, this observation area is where you're going to be looking for your suction depth. It's the little window adjacent to the lavage port. So this amount of space here is five centimeters. So if we add five to your 18, we're gonna get 23. So that's where we're gonna to go to. We're gonna to go to the 23 in this observation port or window. The uh, 23 then on the suction catheter is actually between the double black and the double green. So we're gonna put that 23 in here. There's your double black, and there's the 23. Now we're going to look at the end of the ET tube, and you'll see that the suction catheter is just beyond the end of the ET tube. You can also look at the numbers on your ET tube and the numbers on the suction catheter. That's the other way you can do it if in a pinch, and you'll see that the 16 matches up with the 16 on your suction catheter when you're close to your 23 here in this window.